today. So yung previous natin na uh, second quarter lessons, they all lead to this, the rational proof theorem. Yung pinaka-objective kasi natin ay given a polynomial function na integer yung coefficients, mahanap natin yung zeros nila with the, as, as much as we can without using a calculator or a computer. So, so yung remainder theorem, factor theorem, FTA, complete factorization, the Kirk's rule of sign. Dito tayo dinadala sa rational roots theorem. And with this, we will come up with the list of possible zeros na itetest natin isa-isa kung nag-work sila dun sa polynomial function. So yung gusto natin matutunan ngayon ay gamitin yung rational roots theorem to identify candidate rational roots. Hindi pa niya ibibigay sa atin yung totoong sagot. Mga possible rational roots lang. Note na rational hindi niya ibibigay sa atin yung non-real roots ng isang polynomial function. So, the whole process no, of finding roots of polynomial functions, hindi talaga natin siya kayang makover at our level. Ang dami nating restriction. Kailangan integer yung coefficients, rational yung coefficients, rational yung roots, at best we can do is to only identify candidate rational roots. Okay, the rational root theorem Important na kailangan natin alam sa kanya ay nag-work lang siya kung integer yung coefficients. It will not work pag rational yung coefficients. It will not work pag, it will not work pag complex, imaginary, non-real yung coefficients. It will not work pag square may square root square root tayo sa coefficients. If meron tayong polynomial function na integer yung coefficients, tapos meron tayong rational number na zero nung function na yun. So, P over Q, sa rational number, in lowest terms, P and Q are integers, and that fraction is a zero of our polynomial function, then, yung P, yung numerator, which is an integer, is a factor of the constant term, and Q, the denominator, is a factor of the leading coefficient of our function. This is the rational root theorem. It's very important. It's a bit long. Try nating gamitin. We want to find all the rational zeros of this function. 12x cubed minus 8x squared minus 3x plus 2. So, balikan natin yung theorem. So, kung meron tayong rational root or rational zero, which we can write as p over q, then, yung numerator ay factor ng constant term, denominator ay factor ng leading coefficient. So, ano ba yung factors ng constant term? The constant term is 2. So, ang factors niya ay 1 and 2. Pwede rin negative 1, negative 2. So, so nilista natin yun dito. Next, the denominator is a factor of the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient is 12. So, let's list down all the factors of the leading coefficient. So 12 of factors are 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, including negative numbers. So we have a set of numbers na pwede natin gamitin numerator. We have a set of numbers na pwede natin gamitin na denominator. So gagawa tayo ng fractions na ito yung numerator, ito yung denominator. At yung listahan ng fractions na yun, yun yung possible rational roots ng function natin. Possible lang. Walang guarantee na andun yung tamang sagot. Pwede kasing walang rational roots yung polynomial function natin. So kung meron, nandito siya sa list na to. How did we get this list? Start tayo kay 1. 1 over 1 is 1. 2 over 1 is 2. Plus minus, sama na natin. 2. 1 over 2 is 1 half. 2 over 2 is 1. Andun na siya. 3. 1 third. 2 thirds. Plus minus. Denominator 4. 1 over 4. 2 over 4 is 1 half. It's already there. Denominator 6. 1 over 6. 2 over 6. But 1 third is already listed. We don't write it down anymore. Denominator 12. 1 over 12. 2 over 12. But 2 over 12 is 1 over 6. It's already there. So, hindi natin siya isasama. So, this is now the list of possible rational roots ni f of x as given to us by the rational root theorem. That's ilan yan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 2. We have 16 possible roots. At anong gagawin natin sa kanila? 
i-test natin sila isa isa buti na lang marunong tayo mag synthetic division so start tayo synthetic division 12 negative 8 negative 3 2 1 pasok natin so 12 12 times 1 12 add 4 times 1 4 add 1 1 times 1 1 2 plus 1 3 ano yung remainder hindi siya zero so what is that what does that tell us kung hindi zero yung remainder hindi hindi zero si one hindi factor si x minus one so one is not a root moving on meron pa tayong 15 numbers to test negative one naman hindi ko na isa isahen pero ang remainder natin ay negative 15 hindi na naman siya root next one half negative one half let's do synthetic division okay so next zero try test check natin 12, 12 times negative 1 half is negative 6. 8, negative 8 plus negative 6 is negative 14 times negative 1 half. Positive 7. 7 plus negative 3 is 4. 4 times negative 1 half, negative 2. 2 plus negative 2 is 0. So, okay. The remainder is 0. Then, then negative 1 half is a 0. By the factor theorem, meron siyang factor na x plus 1 half. Sulat natin. Tapos, ito ngayon yung quotient. So, ilagay na natin dito yung quotient. 12 x squared minus 14 x plus 4. But notice that 12, negative 14, and 4, meron silang GCF na 2. So, we could factor out yung 2 na yun. Ilagay na lang natin sa unang factor para mawala na yung fraction, maging 2x plus 1. And we have this. So, we could continue factoring this you know, by taking from this list. Pero, quadratic na siya eh. We could just factor it. Huwag na natin siyang i-divide, divide. So, factoring this quadratic polynomial, we'll have 2x minus 1 times 3x minus 2. Ngayon, kailan mo mag-zero to? This zeroes out at positive 1 half. Is positive 1 half on the list? Yes. This zeroes at 2 thirds. Is 2 thirds on the list? Yes. So, meron tayong 16 na choices. Tatlo lang dun yung tama. Siyempre, tatlo lang naman yung zeroes no function of 2x. So the zeros are negative one half, positive one half, and two thirds. Second example, want to find all the rational roots of this expression. So ang tingin natin ay sa constant term at sa leading coefficient. So since yung leading coefficient natin ay one, ang possible denominators natin lahat one. So titingin na lang tayo sa constant term. So p over q, where q is six plus minus one. Factors of six na lang are negative six. So one, two, three, and six pati yung mga negatives nila. Test ulit. Start tayo sa 1. Pero pwede naman kayong mag-start kahit saan. Start lang sa 1. Kasi pwede mo substitute agad. Eh. Substituting, ah, testing x equals 1 using synthetic division ulit. You can check that this is this is correct. The remainder is 4. So what does that tell us? 1 is not a 0. Next test, negative 1. The remainder is negative 30. What does that tell us? Negative 1 is not a 0. Continue testing. Two naman. So it's possible, no? Kung mali yung mga pipiliin nyo, pwedeng sa huling-huli nyo patamaan yung tamang sagot. It, mas matagal kayo magsusolve kesa dun sa classmate yung suswertehin na yung una niyang gagamitin, tama agad. Makuha na niya agad yung tamang zero. Ganun talaga. May, may konting luck involved. Okay. When we test for x equals 2, find that the remainder is zero. This tells us that 2 is a 0, and by the factor theorem, pwede natin siyang isulat as x minus 2 times yung quotient, x cubed, 0x squared, negative 8x plus 3. Okay, now we will need to factor this again. And since cube siya, at hindi natin magamitan ng quadratic formula, kung hindi natin siya ma-factor out by grouping, pwede natin uling gamitin yung rational root theorem. So this time, titingin na lang tayo sa 3. Plus minus 1, plus minus 3 na lang. So, apat na lang yung itetest natin. Hindi na rin natin itetest si 1 na negative 1. Bakit? Nag-fail na siya dito. So, kung hindi siya factor dito, edi lalong hindi siya factor dito. We'll just test for 3 and negative 3. Test for 3. Oh, hindi siya nag-0. Test for negative 3. Yun. Z 0 yung remainder. So, that tells us that negative 3 is a 0 and x plus 3 is a factor. So, factor out natin siya. We now have x minus 2, x plus 3. And the quadratic, plus 1 yung last term. Pero nakita natin na hindi nag-work ang 1 at negative 1. So, ang possible rational roots lang nito ay 1 and negative 1. At hindi yung nag-work, 
So, ibig sabihin, walang rational roots itong quadratic na to. Ang rational roots lang natin ay 2 at negative 3. Now, let's say, gusto talaga nating malaman ano yung apat na roots ng polynomial function na to. And then, you apply the quadratic formula here and you should find out that yung roots nitong quadratic na to ay 3 over 2 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. Hindi siya rational. So, ito lang yung rational number. Pero apat yung roots, these are all the four roots. So, to recap, si rational root theorem, binibigay niya sa atin lahat ng possible rational roots ng isang polynomial function. Hindi kasama yung mga irrational radical roots. Na may square root of 2, square root of 3, ganun. Tapos, very strict yung use niya. Pwede mo lang siyang gamitin pag yung polynomial function mo, integers yung coefficients. So, kung yung roots mo ay irrational or non-real sila, hindi sila lalabas dun sa list na ibibigay sa yung RRT. So, thank you very much and see you sa next lesson.